Okay, number nine, addition to complex number. If you want to remove the parentheses, do minus 3i plus 6 plus 8i, and you combine like a light term, real part and real part, is 2 plus 6 is 8, an imaginary part, an imaginary part, in this case, different sign, subtraction is 5i. It's super easy, addition and subtraction. Okay, each example I want to verify using the calculator is parenthesis 2 minus 3i i is here close the parenthesis plus the parenthesis 6 plus ai second the decimal point is i the answer is a plus 5i perfect Okay, now subtraction. Subtraction is the same, the only difference is that when you remove the parentheses, the minus hand, the sutra hand, you, you change the opposite sign, it's minus 4 plus 4i. Now combine letter. It's real part, real part, and then it's 7. Imaginary part, and imaginary part is plus 6i. Now let me check it with the calculator. In the calculator you put parentheses minus 3, of course this minus white, not this minus. This is subtraction, this is negative value. Plus 2i. Uh, now this is subtraction, parentheses, 4 minus 4 i close the balance that's a minus 7 plus 6 i perfect okay again subtraction is remove the parenthesis 2 minus 5 i minus 8 minus 6 i combine the real part is subtraction negative 6 and the imaginary part is minus 11 i Let's check it with the calculator. In the calculator we have parentheses 2 minus 5i uh, subtraction uh, parentheses 8 plus 6i. Mm -hmm. Close the parentheses, press enter, the answer is minus 6 minus 11i. Perfect. Okay, now multiplication. Now multiplication in this case, multiplication, a real number times a complex number. So this is just apply this through the property. You multiply this and this and this and that. This is 2 times 3 is 6 uh, minus 18i. That's it. Uh, uh, also, we, we verify we're using a clear, just in case. This is three parentheses, and inside you write the complex number, guess 2 minus 6i. Close the parentheses, press enter, is 6 minus 18i. Perfect. Okay, multiplication again, but in this case we multiply a pure imaginary number times a complex number. We multiply this times this, is 4i, and this times that is minus 6i squared. But I know very well that i squared is negative 1. Therefore, i squared is real. This is 4i, so we have minus here, a minus here, double minus, is plus 6. If you organize in elegant way, is 6 first, a real part first, plus 4i. Okay, let's see with the calculator. Calculator is 2i parenthesis 2 minus 3i. Close the parenthesis, press enter. The answer is 6 plus 4i. Perfect. Okay, now multiplication, but multiplication to complex number. And basically, we apply FOIL. We multiply this and this. 3 times 2 is 6. This and this, 
es plus 3i. This and this es minus ai. And this and this es minus 4i squared. And remember, i squared es negative 1. Y this negative, and this negative es doble negative, y ambico positive. Plus 4, real number. Now you adding this and this, 10. And this and this, es the imaginary part. The subtraction, because we have different signs, is minus 5i. Uh -huh. It's always the verification with the calculator. Is the original number is parenthesis clear parenthesis three minus four i multiplication two plus i close the parenthesis press enter ten minus five super fantastic Okay, 21 is again multiplication, but this is a special case because this complex number are conjugate. What mean that? Okay, we have exactly the same real part and the imaginary part have opposite sign. But wait, okay, let's do it by the traditional way. Just flow, foil, multiplication. And after I want to explain the shortcut to do in, in only one second. You multiply first Okay, obviously a 36 positive. You multiply uh, outer, okay, obviously is plus 6i. You multiply inner, okay, is minus 6i. And you multiply last, okay, is negative i squared. Okay, always happen in this case of the conjugate. Okay, the imaginary part cancels out, so the answer is real. So it is because you know that i squared is negative 1, so it's double negative, 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 positive. The answer is 36 plus 1 gets 37. That always happens. The answer, when you multiply any complex number, time is conjugate, the answer is real. And the shortcut to do super fast in only one second is. You multiply 6 times 6, so you multiply only first, okay, 36, and you multiply the last, it is obviously is minus i squared, and that's it. Not necessarily multiply inner and outer because I know it cancels out always. And i squared is negative 1, so we have 36 plus 1, okay, 37. Okay, so, so far we are doing by the shortcut. I never apply it for it again. Okay, 23 is division of the complex number. For doing the division always, you apply the idea that we were working before of the multiplication of the conjugate. So you multiply by the conjugate of the complex number in the denominator. In this case, it's 3 plus 4i. Remember, Conjugate is the same complex number but opposite sign in the imaginary part. Of course, in order to doesn't affect my original problem, you multiply and divide by the same. Uh -huh. And this working like a smart one. Okay, let's do the multiplication. Of course, I want to do the multiplication mm -hmm. using the shortcut. Hello. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus, always plus, 4 times 4 is 16. It's 25. In the top, we are doing the multiplication as a monomial, time binomial, 30, and 40, i. Of course, we separate uh, a common denominator, we split 30 over 25, plus 40 over 25, i. You put the real power first and the imaginary power second, and of course, you must express the final answer in lowest terms. So you simplify divided by 5 is 6. Divided by 5 is 5. 6 over 5. Plus, in this case, divided by 5 again is 8. Divided by 5 is 5. It's 8 over 5i. And this is the answer. Let's verify with the calculator. 
the calculator you put ten ten division uh -huh, very important the parenthesis three minus four i Mm -hmm. You press enter, the answer is in decimal, you convert as a fraction, you press math, enter twice, fraction, enter twice, the answer is 6 over 5 plus 8 over 5i. Correct? Right.